Before I start this video, I just want to say one big thank you to all my Patreons who support my work and make this whole new lab possible. Grazie Hafna. This is my lab. I love the space, but it's kind of too small. It's more of a desk rather than a lab. It only measures one trio by six. I think it's time for an update. Now, if you watched some of my last videos, you know that I recently got a new garage. And this is it. This is my new garage. This place is still currently in a construction site, so it's a little bit noisy to make YouTube videos inside it. For the next year or so, I decided to rent this shop. This space is not huge, but I think it's large enough to build the level of my dreams, and we're going to start by painting these of your walls. What do you think? Is it white enough? I think it's white as it could be. The next step is going to be to build some benches over here. Okay, so before I mount the legs, I'm going to start by making another thing. I think the legs are a little bit too high. These are one meter in length. I think if we cut them to 90, they will be better. That's much better. The legs are connected. What I'm going to do now is add a piece of wood at the bottom to make the bench more robust. <laughs> All we have to do now is make another one. These benches are inspired from Dave's Jones EV Block Lab. I will link his videos if you want to learn more details about them. This is the current layout of the new lab. So we have two benches that are 60 by 250, but as you can see here, there is a lot of other space we can use. Now I'm not allowed to mount anything to the wall, so what I'm going to do is use pegboards. I found these for like 10 euros each, which is really worth it, so I'm going to go all the way around.
Okay, so the bench is pretty much completed. Time to fix the lighting. I'm so proud with how this place is looking. I want this electronics lab to be as professional as possible. So the last thing I'm going to add is an anti-static mat. I suck at these kind of things. I don't know how to cut straight. And that's it. The final thing I have to do is import all the stuff I haven't built lab inside here. One eternity later. Welcome to my new electronics lab. It took me more than two weeks to move inside here, but I think everything is finally set up. So I think this calls for a proper lab tour. My favorite part of this lab is this 3 meter long set of drawers. There is a total of 176 drawers. These are the same drawers that I had in the previous lab, but I had added some more. I have this section here for ongoing projects, this part here is for ICs that I commonly use, then I have another section for screws, bolts and magnets, and the rest is for all the electronic components. On top of these drawers I then have this shelf. The first part of this shelf I dedicated just for books, um, here I have some development boards and breadboards, um, scale, multimeters and these are my oscilloscope and power supply both of these are seven years old now i bought them when i was at uni so hopefully they will retire soon and get replaced with some new equipment then i have this whole region dedicated for soldering this is a hot plate i just got i have a soldering station a microscope and an ultrasonic cleaner some other new additions is this pcb holder a fume extractor and these omnifix soldering helping hands I mounted all my handy tools on the pegboard, which made for a lovely backdrop. So far I have added a saw, a spanner, a wire stripper, I added this region here for the heat shrinks, I have some glue, cable ties, tweezers, solder, a wick, a desoldering pump, some G-clamps, a soft hammer, two spatulas, dremel, glue gun, some scissors, a ruler, a vernier, this is a protractor, a cordless drill, some magnetic sheet, a knife, allen keys, some screwdrivers, files and some bits. Here I made the rack for the wires, I have some more wires that should arrive soon and this other rack here is for tapes, side cutters and long nose. All the mounts and hooks were 3D printed using my new Prusa Mini 3D printer. This little machine was essential to build this lab because it allowed me to custom design some parts. So thank you Joseph Prusa for sending me this machine, I'm sure I'm going to use it for a lot more projects. Here I have the Benton Tool desktop PCB milling machine which I won 2 years ago in a competition. Then I have my laptop connected to two other monitors. I obviously had to find a new region for my whiteboard, I cannot work without this thing. And this is basically a graveyard for all my projects. So this is some of my recent work and these are some of my old projects. Now like I said this new lab is not 100% finished. I cannot afford to change everything at once. But I think it's in a good enough stage to start working on some new projects in here. If you want to help me out on that you can become a Patreon or even check out my Flexar merch. See you in the next video.